Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Before we get into today's video, I wanted to thank Skillshare so much for sponsoring today's video. Skillshare is an online learning community that offers thousands of inspiring classes for creative and curious people. They have tons of different classes on there, ranging from marketing, graphic design, business analytics, freelance and entrepreneurship, which is the one that I'm mainly focusing on right now. And they have tons more on here guys that you can browse i actually just got done taking the going freelance building and branding your own success by justin g which is the co-founder of working not working after taking this class i have a way better understanding of laying the foundation of freelance and all of the things to consider when doing freelance skillshare has classes to fit your schedule and your skill level there's absolutely no ads on there which is one of my favorite favorite parts and they are always coming out with new premium classes so that you can stay focused and you can go wherever your creativity and your dreams want to take you on there. It is less than $10 a month with the annual subscription and the first 1,000 of you guys to click the link in my description will get a free trial of the Skillshare premium membership so that you can go ahead and explore your creativity and go follow your dreams. Without further ado, um, let's just get started with today's video. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be my nightly cleaning routine for the most part. This is what I do almost every single night. Sometimes I get a little lazy, but this is what our house looks like most nights. So the living room's a toy disaster. We have a dinner mess. Tonight wasn't super messy because we made like our own little mini pizzas, so it was easy cleanup. We have some clean dishes that need to be put away. We have dirty dishes. We have random stuff on the counter. We had just eaten dinner, so our dining room's a little bit of a mess. And then we just have the random, typical, lived-in house clutter, you know, dirt, all that, that just happens throughout the day. I always will clean up the mess in our dining room from dinner first because I just can't stand there being food and grease and all of that everywhere. So I get the table wiped down. I wipe all the crumbs off of everything and just wipe all the surfaces. So the table, Hazel's high chair, it was extremely greasy. Everything was greasy because like I said, we had pizza. So, you know, little greasy fingers everywhere. And then I pulled out all the chairs just because the underneath of the dining room table gets pretty messy within like two days it needs vacuumed doesn't get vacuumed every two days but I try my best to keep up with it and it needed a good vacuum tonight so I was just running the Dyson my Dyson V6 I love this vacuum it is so nice for smaller spaces like if you want to get like a quick vacuum done and you don't want to plug in the big vacuum and you know have the bulky vacuum under the table this is like the perfect vacuum for that I actually don't use a broom anymore because I just use my Dyson I was telling the girls to get back into the living room right here because we had them like gated in so that they didn't bother me when I was cleaning. Usually they hang out in there with Patrick while I just get the cleaning done. But our French doors in our dining room, they get so messy. Like I said, greasy fingers, sticky fingers, mouths, as you can see, they love to do this. They love to play up against this glass. And I knew that when we bought this house, this would happen and I would be looking at dirty glass all day every day so I only clean it like once a week because there's really no point in trying to keep up with it every day when they're just going to be messing with it every day especially Hazel she doesn't know any better but look at how cute they are they're so cute like I, I can't be mad at them but <laughs> I was just cleaning off the glass there and then for our front room this room doesn't really get like used that much. I was just closing up the curtains and fixing up the pillows that the girls had messed with throughout the day. And that pile of clutter right there, that's all organization that I'm going to be using here, mostly for our pantry soon. I just haven't gotten around to it yet. So that's why it's all sitting in that corner. I was putting things away, like my keys, I was putting those away. I don't know why they need to be in my diaper bag every single night weird I was putting all the shoes away so I can't stand the mess of like cluttered shoes it drives me insane when we get home we usually like just leave our shoes right there because they're either wet or muddy and you don't want to track that in like the closet or anything 
but at the end of the night I have to put like all the shoes away back in their bins and in the closet wherever you know they go and also I was vacuuming as you can see so I needed to get them up anyways to get all the dirt off of the floor so I could later clean the floors going to empty out the vacuum the garbage is overflowing literally the story of my life also check out how disgusting the garbage lid is that needs to be deep clean like I need to clean out the garbage I just haven't gotten around to that but I noticed a very disgusting smell in the garbage can and when I lifted up the insert there was like liquid at the bottom of it and it was really gross so I took it outside and I washed it out with the hose and put some dish soap in it and I let it sit overnight and then I just washed it out the next morning right here I'm trying to show how much stickiness is on our floor that reflective like that you see is just stickiness I don't know how else to explain it if you have kids you understand but our floors were like really gross and sticky there's juice milk I don't even know sucker crumbs probably spit I don't know there was just a lot of crap on our floors I hadn't cleaned them in a while so they just really needed a good clean with the Bissell spin wave I've had this since Christmas and I absolutely love it right here it was like acting really weird and the mop wasn't spinning so I ended up investigating and a screw was loose because I go hard with this thing I'm not gonna lie so um, I just needed to screw it back in it just came loose from me probably neglecting it honestly running it into things way more than I should but after I screwed it back in all was good so this thing is literally $99 on Amazon and it's amazing it does a really good job and I highly recommend this I mentioned this in my last cleaning video, but this is a very important takeaway from this cleaner. It is self-propelling, so you literally just stand there and you hold it and then you shoot out the water whenever you want to add more cleaner to the floor. It is so easy. It saved my back from so much pain. I have a bad back these days and mopping before like killed my back. My back would ache for days after. The simplicity of it just makes me want to clean the floors you know it makes me want to mop it doesn't make me dread it right here I was just putting away any dishes that were previously washed from the night or just during the day pots and pans and utensils and all that crap that don't go in the dishwasher. I was just getting those put away, their water bottles, all of that. And then I was going to go ahead and unload the dishwasher so that I was able to eventually load it. This part cracks me up because Hazel is obsessed with taking dishes and like running away with them every time I'm unloading the dishwasher. It's actually really funny watching that clip back because I've never seen it from that perspective. So 
so for me personally cleaning is super therapeutic it's relaxing it de-stresses me i thrive off of a clean neat organized environment and it's like a way for me to unwind and relax i don't know i really enjoy cleaning especially during the night like this when patrick's home and i don't have to worry about the girls as much and i can just do my thing and just get it done it's just so relaxing for me there's something so satisfying about just being in a clean house and a clean environment and overall it's just better for me my mental health everything like everything in my opinion goes way smoother and better when you are in a clean and neat environment if you guys have ever played sims it reminds me of like sims on there when you can pick their traits i would always um pick like clean and neat or whatever it was on my sims i used to be obsessed with sims and when my sim would like start cleaning it was literally like i was watching myself in real life because it was the exact same way i was like i just i thrive off of it and it it just makes me happy After I'm done with the dishes and I clean the sink out good, I get everything off the counter and then I'm going to be wiping down all the surfaces. So all the counters, all of the backsplash, most of the time I do the backsplash. I don't do it every night, but I do <laughs> do it multiple times a week because stuff gets splashed on there. I wipe down the garbage can, the top of it every single night and I do the stove, the microwave. I just give everything like a good wipe down. I'm definitely not like deep cleaning it, you know, but I'm just wiping down any of like the surface mess that's on it. So I recently started using this cooktop cleaner from Wyman, Wayman I think is how you say it. I use their stainless steel cleaner as well and I have been loving it. I never used a cooktop cleaner. I always just use a like all purpose cleaner, but it wasn't getting the job done and it was leaving it looking really dull. And this does a really good job. It gets really nasty grease, like grime stains off of the top of the stove and it also leaves like it nice and shiny and I have been loving it. So I had already cleaned off their table. This is a must every single night. This thing gets so dirty. So do the placemats, so do the chairs. I clean like the whole thing, but I already did that during the day and it didn't get dirty again. And right here, Patrick and the girls, they were cleaning up the living room. That's usually what they do is they clean up their toys and get the living room straightened up. Right here, I was doing the other side of the doors, cleaning off the rest of like the marks and stuff on the doors. Since we had the room gated off, I didn't really go in here to clean it up until this point. Right as we take them up to go to bed, um, I usually will turn on the robot vacuum, our robo rock, and I will have it either clean the whole entire house. It depends on what I ended up getting to that day, like if I ended up vacuuming or not. This specific day, I just had to clean our living room because I didn't get around to it. And then it will vacuum. And by the time I come downstairs after we put them to bed, um, everything's all done and vacuumed. So that cleaning right there took me like an hour. Once we put them to bed, I wanted to clean off our appliances. So I was using the stainless steel wipes. I love these. I like the spray too, but the spray just makes a mess sometimes. And I like to just use these to prevent 
the nasty like greasy feel it can leave on your floor sometimes when you use the spray so you can't really tell right now how dirty our fridge was but our fridge was crusty it had so many fingerprints on it and so much like food residue it was really gross honestly so i wanted to wipe down the fridge and since i use the wipes version of it i usually will take a microfiber cloth and go over it and like buff it out so it leaves it like really nice and smooth and shiny looking and there's no streaks left on it and i took an all-purpose cleaner also and cleaned like the part where the ice and the water comes out Okay, so in these clips, I am like giggling. Patrick and I were, we were laughing really hard. We were talking about something really funny. So that's why I'm like laughing so hard in these clips. But I just wiped down the appliances and then my coffee bar stand thing, the glass gets really dirty once again over here just because of, you know, little fingerprints and stuff like that. So I was giving this a good wipe this has not been cleaned in like a month or so so it really needed it Well, that is it for this video. That was my nightly after dark cleaning routine. I don't do everything every single night that I did in this video, but most of it is stuff that I do every single night to just wrap up the night. I have to go to sleep with the main floor pretty much spotless. I'm not saying I always do it, but most of the time, like 95% of the time, this is the house that I like to go to sleep in. I like to have the whole entire main floor um, nice and clean. It makes for a way better start to my morning, fresh start. I'm not anxious, I'm not stressed because that's what mess and clutter does to me. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to subscribe if you are not already and also turn on the notification bells on all my videos so that you do get notified when I upload. And that's gonna be it. Thank you guys again and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.